Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I have a stick. Playing Madden 20. We are? The Sagamite Dolphins. Sagamite Dolphin Tit. I remembered. <laughs> What'd you say? Sagamite Dolphin Tips. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. I don't even know where that came from. I it almost came out like I said something else. I thought you said the T word. I almost thought I did. I did. Like dolphin, t dolphin. T <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. I don't know. <laughs> what size bra a dolphin would wear if it had uh, a training? Put double D's on a dolphin. <laughs> double D's on a dolphin. <laughs> yo, yo, baby, you got double D dolphin. <laughs> I'm sure I, if you look up some rule 34, there's dude, probably yeah. something. Dude, anything, dude. This anything. You just put dolphins with boobs, and I guarantee it's out there. Does it make you a furry if you're into dolphin? Like boobs. Do you know what a furry is? It's someone who dresses up like an animal, right? No. See, I'm, I've told the story before about how furries are into like that 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 furry like uh, adult art. It's like erotic art. Yeah. Okay. I, you, I, I mean, I can get behind some erotic art. That's kind. Of, yeah, but it's but like with like, like anthropomorphic animals that kind of are like you know. half man, half cheetah. Yeah, like okay, think Thundercats. <laughs> okay, but like more animal, like so more like less cat. man. Yeah, more cat-like than the Thundercats. Like it, it looks like they're in the cat's Broadway play. <laughs> <laughs> no more cat. Well, more animated that. Kind of. So they, he took like the cat Broadway play and the cat and the cat Thundercats animated, put them together. Yeah, and more like I said, more sexualized. <laughs> so it's, like, it's basically like animal person hentai. Animal person. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of like where it's centered around is okay. a love of that, and then they dress up in those suits because they identify. But a that. lot of times they just wear like one piece. Right? Yeah. Like, kind so, it's, so it's like they get away from where the roots are and they just like, they have to. Yeah, it, the whole. F <laughs> yeah, Anyways, yeah. Kid Cuddy. <laughs> oh where is this going to? It's steeped in the fetish, though, Joe. It's all about the fetish. Yeah, dude. Kid Cuddy. Are we gonna <laughs> All right, fine, Joe. We're not going to talk about furries, so I'm going to go. Why are you talking about no, furries? Dude, no. <laughs> Can't do it. I'm not even going to segue to Kid Cuddy. I'm just like, Kid Cuddy. I <laughs> take Jonas. I really like the wizard album. It was one, it was one of my favorite Kid Cuddy albums. Well, if you're comparing that to the other five other than him, one, 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 and two, yes, it's great. No. Well, yeah. Okay. That's, I guess that's not fair. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say it's probably my third favorite. Yeah, of course. Because the other three are garbage for whatever they are. And I was going to lie and say, no, I'll probably like my second, but that would just be a lie. Yeah, dude. That would just be a lie because yeah, his first two albums are amazing. Yeah, dude. They're like, I mean, they're not, like, they aren't really all that relevant anymore because when I listen to them, it sounds old. Yeah. But at the time, they were, they were so good. Yeah. It's yeah. sad, Jonas. Like, uh, it's sad when you see an artist go from like, "Wow, this guy has a lot of potential," when he has like two just absolutely amazing albums, and then they just kind of fall off. Like, yeah, dude. Personal demon. Is that the name of a band that you saw fall off? Personal demons, Jonas. That was your favorite band. I mean, yeah, yeah. But even still, like, I kind of feel like the money might have gotten away. Like money. you start getting the money, well, and yeah, then you start but, getting the drugs, then and then you, you start living the you life. You got problems of like you feel like no one is really your friend because everyone's just and there for the money. Exactly. You like are these saying. women really? In, do these women really like me because of who I am, or do these yeah. women like me because of who I am? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, I saw a great quote the other day. What's that? It know says, I love a good quote. But instead, you cannot change the people in your life but you can change the people in your life you cannot change the people in your life but you can change the people in your life i don't get it you don't get it really i really don't get it you can't change the people that are in your life <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> you're just gonna say the same words. <laughs> you're just gonna say no, no. As in, you can't change the people that are around you. Yes. But you can change the people in your life. As in, you can change the people who are around you. I don't. I don't get it. You don't. I literally. I still. I don't get it. <laughs> Let me say it in a different way. Yeah, say it in a if different way. If you don't like the people that are in your life, yes. you can't change who they are, but you can change the people oh! that are around you into other people. Oh! Yeah. You can't change you the people in your life. change the people, people in, in your life, life but, you, but can you can change the people in your life. Oh! Dude, I was like, I was like, bars. Like it hit me. It took you a minute. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, that is pretty good. Because the same sentence with it's like yeah. it's the emphasis, dude. You gotta put the emphasis on it. Yeah, you have to put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Yeah, dude. You can change the people in your life. You can change people in your life. That's true. And yeah, I feel like that definitely gets gets in the way of a lot of these musicians, like uh, bands that have just fallen off, rappers that have just fallen off for me. Oh, ja Rule. Mm. What, money? That was Firefest, dog. No. He got absolved from that, too, by the way. He did? Yeah. They, like, literally took it to court, and he was found to have nothing to do with what happened. Ja Rule. The other ja, guy. The other. Oh, yeah. The other guy's going to jail. <laughs> he's going to jail. He was going to run off with some money. And he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't charge that much for people to get there and then not Did you have. watch that documentary about how all that happened? Oh, dude. They said that dude who, who like, who the, the mastermind behind, the, 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 whatever the guy's name is. Martin Scorelli. No, that was the pharmacy bro, dude. <laughs> yeah, um, that guy, up until, like, the day of the festival, yeah. still was walking around like, we got this, this is going to happen. He never in a, he never showed anyone that he had any doubt it was going to be pulled yeah. off, even though he knew, knew. that it was not going to work. He knew it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. He, like, it was like until like the minute it like started, he was just like, no, we got this, man, let's do it. And then what, are, what like, I just don't understand what your plan is. <laughs> like, what happens when everybody realizes? Maybe we'll just be like, oh, what happened? Yeah, he's just lucky nobody died. I mean... That unflappable confidence is, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a curse. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's kind of, it's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, it's one thing to be so confident that you don't think you're gonna fail. It's another to be like, hey, you're cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's one thing to just f up a bunch of people's lives, <laughs> also. <laughs> But right. Yeah. Confidence is definitely a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, man. In in doses. Proper confidence. Yes, proper confidence in doses. Yeah, I'm getting some of that. Uh, I just like uh, when I was younger, like I've been called a narcissist a hundred thousand yeah, times. Like, yeah, but usually by winning. Yeah, oh yeah, winning. Hate that. But uh, I mean, I, I kind of feel like to a certain extent, I guess, so. I, I've tried to work on it, and I find the easiest ways to compliment other people on on their accomplishments. Well, I mean, it's, it's so hard when you're always right. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I know, dude. If you're never wrong, how do you like? How do you like? Oh, that you're sorry that they aren't right. <laughs> no, I'm sorry that you took that that way. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry uh, that you don't understand. See, and that is exactly what a narcissist would be. <laughs> I, right? I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> now back to so, so I've definitely worked on that, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm big into improving myself, yeah, man. Yeah, me too. I've you, improved you, myself a lot. You're never gonna be, you're never gonna be 100, percent but you know, you can work towards 100 percent every day. Man, you can ride a solid 99.9 nine for a long, long time. You will never. <laughs> <be>. <laughs> If if you morphed into Brad Pitt in the living room, I'd be like, holy ish, he did it. <laughs> He's only 99. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. I, uh, can you? Can you dig it? We can dig it. Can y'all dig it? What song is that? I don't know. Come on, ride the train. Hey, ride it. Choo choo choo. Is that what we've, <laughs> we've devolved into? Jonas. What the hell? Was that another interception, my man? Yeah, it's the same guy, I guess. Why are you giving the ball away? I want him to win. Well, you're going to facilitate that with those type of plays. Don't you dare talk about my mother like that. 
Uh, Ja Rule fell off. Uh, DMX, man. Mm. DMX is so. DMX is like my favorite. I mean, you eat cows, dude. I don't understand why you're mad about fighting dogs. I didn't say I was mad. I said that's what ended him. Well, I don't know how people are all up in arms. Yeah, you know, Jones, effing hot take. I don't know how you're going to be up in, up in arms about dog fighting, not up in arms about eating cows. Like, what the hell? I'd rather I'd rather see two cows fight to the death than eat it. <laughs> like, that's, it's a hot take. Well, yeah, okay. I'd rather see two cows fight to the death than eat one. Yeah. You're going to eat cow tomorrow. Jonas, don't you ever say that to me in my face at my house. I don't even face this is, my house. This is not even, it's not even Thanksgiving. You don't even, this, this video is like next week. I don't even know what day this is coming out. <laughs> exactly. I just, I mean, it, it could be any day, man. Well, Christmas is on the way, Jonas. What do you want for Christmas, man? That I'm not going to get you. Um, I want my system at work to be faster so I can do my job properly. You want a new laptop from work? I just want it to work. I just want to be able to work, dude. That's it. That's all I want for Christmas. Have you ever asked, them, will they replace your laptop? Yeah, but it's not my laptop. It's a web-based system, so it's like they don't have enough server power to like supply everyone. This is really what you want. <laughs> this, is, this is what you were thinking about in the middle of our bad videos. <laughs> just... I want my work to be more efficient. I want, work to, I want to be able to work and not be like, why is my life like this? Um, I want, all I want is, By the way, boomer statement. Just want to put that out there. Jesus, man. All right. Do you want prostitutes? Because I mean, I could arrange that. Do you? No. Should we go, should we go to the uh, Dancers Club on Christmas Day? The Dancers Club. Dancers the Dancers Club. <laughs> the club where people dance, Jonas, yeah. you mean? Should we go to the clan the clan dub? <laughs> the clan dub? The clan dub, not the clan dub. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not hanging out with that guy. Oh, you're talking about the Crip Stub. The Crip Stub? Yeah. <laughs> The Cripper Stub. The Clip Stub. That's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, dude. Who the heck goes to the Clip Stub? I don't know, man. Clip that's hard. <laughs> clip Stub on a freaking Christmas. I wonder what, what, like, is that, like, double G rated? <laughs> no. What did we, we went on a holiday one time. Did we? Yes. What holiday? It wasn't Christmas, I don't think. But I remember they were like, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Diamond. And she came to, like, some holiday laid music. Like a turkey outfit. <laughs> I kind of feel like the... Uh, the It'll probably be open on Thanksgiving. I feel like that club would be great on holidays. Like, Halloween at that club would be great. Dude, we should go on Thanksgiving. Why would I... On Thanksgiving. Yeah. Why are you giving me this look like that's just the growth? I don't want to see some some dancer who is just eating a whole bunch of turkey and mashed potatoes. Nah, dude, she's there. She doesn't have any family. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's dancing away her sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> it's awful, dude. <laughs> Awfully funny. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. That's true, man. Like, I don't know if I could enjoy my. I don't know if I could. Know they're there because they don't have. I don't know if I could enjoy my boner knowing that. I mean, she's I mean no. I mean, I'm not that bad of a person because I don't have any family for the holidays either. So we'd be in the same boat. Yeah. I'd be there. I'd be there helping her. No, I would have a hard time enjoying my boner knowing that she's working on Thanksgiving because or her kids don't have their mom with them because she's out on the pole. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's gonna make a dark turn on this video, huh? I'm just, there's different scenarios. I'm not saying any of them are true. <laughs> so furries. Right. <laughs> so furries. All right. All right. <laughs> now I'm breaking it up. I'm just going straight back to furries because right, no it's, it's better than what we were talking about. <laughs> The <laughs> palate cleanse with furries. Yeah, that's great. If you have the palate cleanse with furries, <laughs> it is went off the damn rails. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, what do I want for Christmas? I don't know, Jonas. Thanks for asking. I don't know. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, you want an air fryer? No. <laughs> what do I want for Christmas? Jesus. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about an air fryer? Is that what you want? Are you trying to use reverse, reverse psychology on me? No, I want a GD air fryer. I don't know, Jonas. I don't ever want anything. Me neither. That's why I had the hardest time ever. My mom, every year, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. I have everything that I want. Yeah, and that's a terrible thing to say, but it's true. I feel the same exact way. If I want something, I save up and I buy it. Exactly. Yeah, but I don't want a lot of things, so there's like not a lot. And I'm like, do you want some appliances from the kitchen? I'm like, I don't have anywhere to put them. I don't need them. Exactly. What do you need? I have a microwave. I have a television. I have a bed. I have a vehicle. I have a, 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 a next right, box. I got some clothes. Like, I'm not gonna yeah. have my mom buy me clothes. Mm -mm. Yeah, dude. I don't. There's not like. Like honestly, if if you want to get dynamite something for Christmas, I guess socks. Yeah, dude. There you I go. do. I do like some socks. I will. I will never turn year, them dude, now. I, like my mom always asked me, I never have anything. So I finally was like, all right, give me a, like a, a replica, like professional volleyball, and get me like some sand socks. And she was like, are you sure that's what you want for Christmas? Do you know how much that volleyball is? And I'm like, you asked me for what I want for Christmas, and I don't hear any question me. How much was the volleyball? Like fifty bucks. A oh, fifty dollars. You. Yeah, Are you dude. serious? Yeah. Is this thing like piss gold when you smack it or something? Well, it was 35 bucks. It was on sale. Uh, it's, it's, made, it's made with like real leather. It's like a real leather volleyball. Like it's nice hand crafted. I guess, man. I didn't realize volleyballs were selling for that much. Yeah, dude. Holy it's crap. Real out here in the streets. $50 for a volleyball. Yeah, dude. I remember buying the Spalding basketballs for fifteen dollars. Well, yeah, I, I have an eight dollar volleyball too, but it's not nearly as nice. What makes it nicer, Jonas? It's made with jet. It's like real leather. Yeah, but what is the difference, man? I'm not they asking about the material. They hit different. They, yeah, there's a difference. Well, what is, what's the difference? They hit different. And Th that's the entire game. <laughs> the entire game is hitting the ball, so it hits different. <laughs> yeah, but what is, what's the benefit? Sell me on the volleyball. It it's less effort and more precise. And there we have it. Okay. Now you you gotta give me a commercial. This is it's leather. That's not gonna make no, me buy the car. It hits, it hits different. That's not gonna make me buy the car. It less effort and more precise. Yo, I'm so. I know, right? I'm that's still not buying a fifty dollar ball. That's my elevator pitch. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for whatever the hell weird episode this was. Furries, furries, sad strippers, tip crubs. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoy our content. Volleyball. If you don't, still subscribe because we love you. And for Jonas. Oh, I'd love you too. Aw, Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. We are out.